Hello traders, Trader Tom here from Simply Forex, the channel created to help you succeed in the markets. Guys, I am back from Cyprus. It's good to be back. I've enjoyed my holiday. I've got a okay tan. Um, but yeah, good to be back, guys. Good to be back in, with my normal camera, my normal mic, my desk. We like it. Uh, today is Monday, the 15th of April. And as always, guys, we're going to look back at Friday's trades. Yeah, we're going to look at today's potential trades. And we're going to look at the important news for today as well, if you stay till the end of the vid. All right, so let's start with Friday. And we had a great trade with New Zealand dollar, US dollar. I've been prattling on about New Zealand US dollar for a few days now. And it's, you know, it's finally come crashing down on Friday. So uh, we were looking to sell it. Why were we looking to sell it? Well, your first job as a trader is to understand trend. And at this point right here, it was in an uptrend. OK, it was you were getting higher, high, uh, sorry, higher lows. Yeah, higher highs. And then bang. Yeah, this great big candle, great big bearish candle here broke this low and therefore we had lower lows and we be, it became a downtrend. Yeah, and it's even broken these lows here now. All right, so that was the idea. It was in a downtrend. We was also seeing this area here where price was rejecting, okay? And that was the area we wanted to trade from. And like I say, look at, look at you know, it just came crashing down Friday. It wasn't any, like, big US dollar data. It's just, you know, US dollar carried on the strength that it had. If we drop down to the H1, it was a very sort of textbook trade. Yeah, I plan the trade at the start of the morning, you know, and I give you this in my analysis vid every day. Yeah, I pinpointed this area here. Yeah, we've got a bearish reaction. This is not bearish enough on its own, this candle, but this candle with this candle below the moving average 20, only just, but below it, um, I entered here. Yeah, put my stop above here, took profit down to here right, where I closed 80%, and then I let 20% run down to here, where I closed the final 20% as well, okay? I also had 20% running on a previous trade, which I also closed at this level, a little bit below it, in fact, all right? So this made, yeah, it made for a really good week, New Zealand US dollar uh, sales, uh, and like with all of my trades, guys, I put all of these in the VIP Trading Academy. This is where I give you all of my signals, and it is free right now. Check out the promo in the uh, video description. We was also looking at a couple of other trades, but these just didn't materialize. So pound, Aussie dollar, we were looking to sell. Okay. Um, why were we looking to sell? Well, we was in a downtrend. Okay, came back up. We got this bearish candle. And the idea was to take it back down to these daily lows, if not a bit further. All right. Um, below the moving average 20 as well, which I like. Um, and, but, you know, you can see here it was a very bullish day. All right. But it was fine because we never got a setup. Yeah, if we drop down to the H1, you know, those of you that have watched my channel for long enough now know that I need structure to break down. And this did the opposite. All right. So we pinpointed this level at the start of the day. We were like, if it breaks this level, we will start selling. All right. It didn't break that level. We didn't start selling. Yeah, simple as that. Plan, plan what you're going to do with a trade before you do it. Yeah, you should know what you're going to do in the morning with each trade and then you can see here really guys you know it started to build up yeah we started getting higher highs higher lows and it became an uptrend all right not interested so no trade with pound aussie dollar and it was the same with euro aussie dollar this was the other trade we were looking at from uh friday so if we start with the day chart you know, this did actually hit target, but we couldn't really get into it. But if we if we just start with the day chart. So we were in a downtrend. Um, I'm going to say that was sort of the last high there, right? We was in a downtrend, and this is where we were at, okay? We had a nice big bearish candle, and the idea was just to come down to these daily lows. Yeah, only a little bit of room, but it did do that before it come bouncing back up. 
If we drop down to the H1, could we get into this trade? And the answer for me is no, really. Yeah, I mean, we were below the moving average 20, yeah, and everything was good. Um, this, let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see these candles. So this candle here, I wouldn't get in on because it had a bullish wick at these lows, right? There were some buyers there. This candle I like, right? And we could have got in on this, but the but the risk to reward didn't make sense. If I start selling here and my target's here, my stop is up here, and my risk to reward is totally shot. Again, a technical term. All right, it just doesn't make sense. So I didn't have a trade on Euro Aussie dollar either. All right, guys, so those were the trades from Friday. Let's look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoy receiving my trade ideas and analysis every single day, then please come join the channel. We'd love to have you. Subscribe to the channel right now. Smash the notification button so you receive an alert. And if everyone could please smash the like button, guys. Much appreciated. Um, right, trades for Monday the 15th of April. Um, before we get started, guys, yeah, I'm back off holiday got my vid, I've got my mic, I've got a, yeah, a tan. Um, but also, guys, I just want everyone to give, if you could just give the editor a thumbs up if you've enjoyed all of the content that he has been unleashing on YouTube. Yeah, so quick thumbs up for the editor if you've been enjoying all of the content. Um, also, guys, a few things to mention. If you haven't joined our trading community, then why the hell not? We've got traders in there just like you, sharing ideas, experiences, um, knowledge. So come join our free Discord channel. All you need to do is create a username and we let you in. Yeah, it's not Fort Knox. Uh, secondly, guys, right now we are giving away free vip trading academy access yeah i put all of my trade signals in there i put all of my tutorials in there and you get direct access to me guys so check out our promotion right now and finally if you would like to show your support for the channel you can become a simply forex youtube member and there's loads of perks for doing so check all of this out it's all in the video description and remember guys a thumbs up for the editor and all his hard work while I was on holiday um right trade so today for monday the 15th of april you don't need to be warren buffett to know that the us dollar is strong yeah strong like bull strong like arnie strong like steven seagal strong like the ultimate warrior all right the us dollar is strong and that is the catalyst for our trades today all right also have one non-us dollar pair that i'm looking at so if we're going to look at the us dollar we need to look at the dollar index and you know i've i've you know come out of the chart so you can see the bigger picture here right so we are clearly in an uptrend right first and foremost we're in this uptrend Secondly, we've broken this resistance and we've broken this resistance. And we have lots of room to move into before the next piece of resistance. So if I actually traded the dollar index, which I don't, I would take it up to this 106.50 level. All right. But this is just confirming the US dollar strength that we've been seeing. All right. And it has room to move into. That's the important part. So bearing that in mind, I like lots of US dollar pairs, right? I like Euro US dollar sales. I like pound US dollar sales. I like New Zealand US dollar sales. I like US dollar Canadian dollar buys. Um, but out of all of them, there's two I like the most. The first one is New Zealand dollar US dollar sales, right? So again, let's zoom in. Let's understand trend. So at this point, we was in an uptrend and then bang yeah we are firmly in a downtrend lower highs yeah lower lows downtrend all right and we've had a nice big bearish candle that broke this low as well all right um we're below the moving average 20 and you know we've got some room to move into like the dollar index has yeah we've got room you know potentially back down to this 5900 level or 5870 Okay, these would be my targets. Um, because of the bearishness of these of these daily candles and some of these US dollar pairs, 
you know, how much pullback will we get, if any? Yeah, this is the question, really, for these trades. So if we look at the H4, right, there are a couple of levels here. So there's the last daily low here. So price could retrace to here. Yeah, we get a bearish reaction. We start selling. Yeah, or price could retrace all the way up to this level. Yeah, perhaps the moving average 20 comes down. This would be a really nice level for sales. There'd be lots of value in here. Uh, we get a bearish reaction and we can start selling from here. So these are the two levels I've highlighted. But if we drop down to the H1, you know, we might get something just as, as simple as this, a reaction off the moving average 20. So the moving average 20 comes down. Maybe the H1 just comes up to here. We get a reaction, a bearish reaction, and then we could start selling from there as well. Because remember, the moving average 20 is dynamic support and resistance. So dynamic resistance in this example. All right. So there are all the things I'm looking at to sell New Zealand US dollar. Um the other US dollar pair I like the most is Euro US dollar. So if we start with the day chart, you know, look, look at all this free air it has to move into down to this next area of, uh, of support. Yeah, this 0550 level. So there's my target. Okay. I wanted to show you that because you can see all this free air. But again, we need to understand the market structurally. And this was always in a downtrend, really, from here, right? Yeah, it's been in a downtrend. This last high never broke. Didn't break, didn't break. So for me, it was still in a downtrend. Come shooting down. If we're in any doubt, we're like, what will it do at this level? It will break it like Bruce Lee breaking uh, bricks. Don't know. Um, but yeah, it's clearly in a downtrend. We've had a nice big bearish candle, right? We're looking for sales. Again, the million dollar question is, will it retrace first and foremost, or will it just do this? Or where will it retrace to before it comes down? Okay. Um, so let's look for some clues on the lower time frames. And, you know, we've got this one area through here. This is the H4. So these lows here and this area here has proven to be support. We zoom back in now. Yeah. So if price came up to this gray zone, yeah, moving average 20 caught up, we get a nice bearish reaction. This is a really nice level to start selling. All right. But it might not reach this level because of how bearish the daily candle is. So if we drop down to the H1, you know, it might be a case of we just maybe this level holds. Maybe moving average 20 comes down. We get a, a, a wick on the H1 that looks something like that. Yeah, closing back below this level. I would consider selling this. Yeah, stop above here and start taking this lower as well. All right, so again, they're the things I'm looking at. And they're my two um, favorite US dollar pairs for today. Uh, I'm also looking at, so my third trade idea is this, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. We, we need to start with the weekly here, because if you look at the weekly, it's clearly, ever since it broke this level here, bang, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, is this the last high? Yeah, so lower highs, lower lows. We're clearly in a downtrend. If I drew a channel, yeah, excuse my channels. This normally looks like I've been drinking, but I haven't. Yeah, we get something like this, perhaps. Right? So that's what we're looking at, downtrend. And look at this weekly candle. Um, if we drop down to the day chart now, right? But the thing about it is we're not we're not below the moving average 20 yet. And there's an area here that's holding. All right. But for me, we are still in a downtrend. Lower highs lower lows these are the last substantial highs and lows i can't this this doesn't count for me in here um and we got a nice bearish candle but what i want to see and let me show you this on the h4 is a break of this level because at the moment yeah we're in this area here so we're getting lower lower highs 
yeah but this low is holding but if this low breaks so we get a nice big bearish candle like this that confirms the downtrend yeah we could start selling here stop above here take price down to here all right guys so those are my trade ideas for today uh let's take a look at the news now so news for monday the 15th of april um before i get started guys please do not forget to join me for the live stream today 8 a.m new york est time get all of your questions ready for me i'm enjoying being back off holiday and speaking to you all uh, right, news. First of all, these are all London GMT time. So 7.30, coming out of Switzerland, we've got PPI. This could move any Swiss franc pair. After that, at 1.30, we've got core retail sales and retail sales. Okay, so this could move any US dollar pairs, and we're looking at them today. But other than that, guys, there is no uh, big news that we're interested in, so you're quite free to trade. Like I say, guys, don't forget to join me for the live stream today. Get your questions ready for me and I'll see you later.